I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. <laughs> For all that, he's trained you to be the best of us. You're not Master Lee yet. I would welcome another match with you, though. What say one more before we break for the day? Let us begin. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. He specifically told me that it was no rush, so I didn't think it would be vital. Besides, who could turn down a chance to practice with you? You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. I thought Master Lee would have your attention for the rest of the day. It is good to see you. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. There are a few, but not enough for me to set up some of the more challenging matches that I'm sure you would prefer. There will be more students available later in the day when many of their exercises have concluded. I am charged with giving whatever instruction I can, but my insights deal more with the philosophy of combat than the skills themselves. Master Lee is very strict about what is taught here. Because martial skill is a pathway to great power, and that holds certain risks. It is not just good over evil. Few things in life are that simple. The common way to say it is, do you follow the way of the open palm or the closed fist? A term for the high path, or perhaps the way of restraint and harmony. Many aspire to it, but few achieve it. It is a path of resisting tyranny. Of course, the source of that tyranny varies. It is just as dangerous coming from without as within. 
Tyranny from external sources is easy to find and fight. Defending those who cannot defend themselves is a reasonable example. But when your abilities are so much greater than those around you, there is the temptation to set everything right by might alone. That is tyranny from within. I am... Ah yes, training. For some time now, I have offered, for a small fee, to run students through a short regimen that will help them enhance their abilities. The lessons you learn from me, or from any trainer for that matter, will stay with you and help make you stronger or better able to focus your mind or magic. Typical. Oh, you're finally here to talk to Master Lee, are you? I certainly hope so. The old man is in there meditating, and he won't train me until he talks to you. What? The old man? That's what he is. Young men don't get mired in foolish beliefs like the belief that your training is more important than everyone else's. If anything, you disrespect this school by monopolizing so much of the Master's attention. I've heard worse threats from children. I know you'd never start anything without the old man's permission. You wouldn't dare risk your status as exemplar to us all. No. I have no interest in fighting you right now. I'll wait until it's worth it, when the whole school is watching and I can crush you slowly. Master Lee wants to talk to you. Do me a favor and go talk to him. Then maybe I can actually receive some education at this school. There you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jingwu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master! Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the Outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? 
Still outside the village by the outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the weapon master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gao. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Lee allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Lee's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. What does Gao the Lesser ever want? He's convinced that he can buy everything, and that includes people. He's a spoiled little man. I'd rather not dwell on him. Let's not increase his influence by talking about him after he's gone. What is it you wish? That is nice to hear. Gao could learn much from you if he wanted to learn anything from anyone. Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C. Pat on his way to help Kia Min. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Lee was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? You're right. As useful as it was to help Master Lee learn about the restlessness of the dead, thanks to my gift, I see enough disturbing things as it is. If we can stop the bandits quickly, we can keep everyone safe. Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. 
Of course. Good company will make the walk go faster. Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it, let's just start looting. We'll get first crack at the good stuff. You're right. This isn't worth it. <laughs> Heavenly way! Nice Legendary I can't believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. Gujin will be in his shop north. I'm so shocked, I don't know what to say. 